What's up, y'all? I'm so excited because today you're gonna join me on a day with my babies. That's right, it's me, you, and them today. I'm gonna show you all of my weekly plant routines, so what I usually do with my plants weekly. A few of the things that I'm gonna do today is not as regular as weekly. It's kind of based upon when my plants need it. I'm gonna show you what I do when I bring home a new baby. That is a very important. So it's something that you need to do if you're bringing home new plants and introducing them to your other babies. Uh, I'm also gonna show you what to do if your plant's not doing so hot. I have a pothos with root rot. So I'm gonna show you, it looks like it's dying, but it doesn't mean it's dying. We can save it. As they say in Jurassic Park, life finds a way. And if you're not a plant parent yet, I hope this video inspires you to become one. Let's go get dirty, y'all. So first things first, you gotta lay out an area because you're gonna get messy. Got my gloves ready, paper towel on deck. Got my uh, soil, grab this at Home Depot. There, I mean, several kinds are good for indoor plants, but this is one of the ones I use. That's one of my new babies, so I have to prep that baby to come in the house. I have drainage rocks, which are pebbles, which I'm gonna show you can help make sure that there is proper drainage and so that you don't get root rot, which I will show you. This baby got some mold, so I'm gonna show you how to take care of that. And it always helps when you have the sun shining and good music. It's a vibe. Okay, so first things first, you don't want it under my nails. Your girl gotta keep her nails fresh, so gloves on. So this guy right here has mold. Honestly, mold can come from anywhere. That's why it's a really good idea to constantly check the surface of your plant soil. So what I did is I obviously removed and made sure that I got rid of it in a garbage bag. I don't want cross-contamination. Now what I'm doing is trying to loosen up the roots and get as much of that old soil out of there as possible and be sure that everything is healthy before I repot. You wanna be careful though when you are breaking apart the roots to be gentle and just almost massage the bottom. This is the new pot. This is the soil that I'm putting in. Just put a little bit first because you want to make enough room for the plant to go in and then pack soil around. I put neem oil in to kill any remaining, anything that gets in there. Neem oil is great for battling molds, any type of like fungus, even gnats. I swear by it. I get mine on Amazon and then I dilute it with water in that bottle. I sprayed the roots as well, again, just to be sure that I didn't miss anything and that it can act while in the new pot. I'm putting the soil around and then I'm spraying down with water, taking out any of the old leaves just to be sure. And baby is brand new. So then I go through and I wipe down all the leaves, make sure that they're clean, take out any leaves that are dead or browning because here's the thing I need you to understand about plants, which you need to apply to your life. The dead leaves still on the plant, it's gonna keep trying to send its energy to that leaf that's already dead. Think about that for a second. Wasting energy on something that's already dead. We do that shit all the time in life. And all that energy is gonna keep going there and get wasted, get drained. It's literally like pouring into a cup until there's nothing left. And if you keep pouring your energy into dead ends, into dead leaves, you're gonna keep losing that valuable energy, baby. So I need you to learn from this. Go in, clip off all the dead leaves like I just did, and flourish because we don't need to be sending energy to what's already dead. We need to move past it so that we can continue to grow, thrive, flourish, and be beautiful. I wipe down the leaves. I give one more spray of this diluted neem oil so that no mold that might have tried to come with stays on the surface. And it's gonna get rid of anything we don't want. This is the equivalent to protecting yourself and having boundaries against energy you don't want. Those negative people, they can't grow here. You know why? Boundaries, protect your energy, y'all. Okay, plant number two is the root rot pothos. So number one, you can actually see the mold growing on the roots. Number two, they're soft and squishy. That's usually a sign. They were coming all the way out of this pot and into that basketball planter. 
um, where it was sitting in water. And so it got really soggy and not happy. And that is root rot. So first things first, I'm gonna take it out of here. I'm gonna clean up the yellow leaves. I'm actually then going to trim the not so good roots. I'm gonna spray down with neem oil. I'm going to, sorry, I'm gonna wash off the plant, then spray down with neem oil and then put it in a new home. So here we go. Okay, so as you can see, this is severely not only root rot, but root bound. The roots actually wrapped themselves around. They had no place to go. It was confined in here, trying to grow, and it could not grow, so it just kept. Another life lesson. Look, life finds a way. It wanted to grow so badly. Look at what it did. It didn't say, oh, my pot's this size, so I can't grow. It said, damn it, I'm gonna find a way to grow. I'm gonna show you what to do. We're gonna have to loosen this up. There's gonna be a lot of root loss here, so hopefully this guy can hang tight and we can salvage something. There's a few plants coming out of it, so I think we can at least salvage a little bit, if not enough to propagate uh, for a new one. All right, so the deeper I got into it, I realized that it was so bad that we're gonna have to start over. Like the root rot and the twisting, it was actually strangling itself. So let me show you here. I completely deconstructed the plant. These are the roots that are not salvageable. I'm gonna take away the ones that are salvageable with enough nodes, cut off the dead, not so good root, and we're gonna propagate this and see what starting from fresh looks like. So now these are my clippings. I'm gonna wash them off here in the sink and then prep them for propagation. So that they're washed, I have my propagation water here so fill it up so that it does cover enough of the stem that roots can begin to propagate and it's important to have it in a nice sunny windowsill. Next project is going to be my brand new majestic palm so I just brought it home there's a few things I want to do before I take it into the house especially because I don't know if you can pick up there let's see can we focus especially because do you see all those little roots showing so typically when you bring home a new plant you're gonna want to wait about two weeks for it to adapt to the new environment before you repot this is a special case I'm gonna do a gentle repot so I'm not gonna disrupt the root system too much I'm just gonna move it into this pot which is approximately one and a half inches bigger you don't want it any more than two inches bigger when repotting and I'm going to make sure I add in soil so that that is covered. Um, the second thing I'm going to do is take off any of the leaves that are injured so that the energy doesn't go there uh, and that we don't waste any of the valuable energy to those dead leaves or they will soon become dead because of the way that they are damaged. So I'll cut those off. Then I'm going to wipe down all the leaves and give a good neem oil spray just to be sure anything that I'm not seeing that could have come home with it doesn't come into the house. Okay, step one, the pot. Step two, pick up the really heavy bag of pebbles and get it in. It's about one thin layer, about one inch, no more than that. Then fill up with soil, neem oil, again, just to be sure nothing bad is in there. Wipe down those leaves we don't want to bring anything with. Very gentle here. I'm not breaking apart too much because, again, this plant is in a new environment and I don't want it to go into extra shock. Fill it all around, pack her in tight and then press down gently. And these were my other new babies. They didn't need to be repotted, so they just need to be quarantined until they were wiped down and I sprayed them with neem oil. And lastly, this is my weekly plant routine. I spray all my babies. A few of them require twice a week, but all the rest are once a week. And then I water them according to what my app tells me. I use the app Planta. It's going to let you know what amount of light, where in the room, and when it needs to be watered. Happy planting, everyone. I hope you go get a new plant after this video.